kwa mtu endelea kusimama Hata kama ni Sunday best moja yani Jumapili uliva Unangoje Jumapili ifike umeiosha hauwezi vaa hapa katikati maana huna nyingine kuja nayo kama si ya mwanamume ya mtu kuja nayo Kuja nayo tena jua yani piga tu pasi na iwe safi hakikisha tu ni safi Salamu Lakini moyo wako usikutume kufanya dhambi ili utengeneze mambo yako. Listen what the Bible to what the Bible is saying. In Titus 2:11, 14. Says for the grace of God has appeared. Neema ya Mungu imetoke imejitokeza. Hiyo ndiyo neema ninayoijua. Sio neema ya kwamba neema inatosha na huku ninaharibu ndio waza watu. Sio neema nayosema neema inatosha na huku mimi ni mwizi. Sio neema kwamba neema inatosha. Mimi ni kiongozi lakini kusengenya wanawake wa viongozi wenzangu siachi. Na kwambia uongozi haupeleki mtu mbinguni, njia ni moja. Maandiko yanasema Yesu peke yake ndiye njia. Acha kukaa kanisani miaka hiyo haimpeleki mtu mbinguni. Yesu ndiye njia peke yake. Na huyu ndio nimetumwa kulihubiri neno lake. Analo jina lilo litengeneza, ametengeneza jina vizazi hadi vizazi, vinamsikia, vinamjua. Anakungoja wewe tu umwambie Bwana, nataka nitengeneze na wewe. Na wakati niliambia Mungu sitaki niende hasara. Maana hii paka nimefika hapa nami nimegaramika. Wakati mwingine Mungu anakuambia toa nguo zako zote peana. Wakati mwingine Mungu anakuambia enda kanisani kesha peke yako. Wakati huo umeacha mume umeacha watoto kati mwingine uko na the holy shilling you have unaambiwa toa na unatoa so nikaambia Mungu sitaki kwenda hasara tell me ni wapi napaswa kutengeneza huo ndio ujumbe ambao nimeleta neema imejitokeza neema ya kukupatia nguvu ya kustahimili hiyo hali huna pesa neema iko oh Paula anaambia Mungu angalau ungenitolea huu mwiba kini Mungu anawaambia neema inatosha neema inatosha haimaanishi huo mwiba unaondolewa anakupatia nguvu ya kustahimili Thank you so much God bless you Yeye neema inatosha na anapatia nguvu ya kustahimili Sema it has appeared it teaches us to say no to ungodliness. So neema imejitokeza itufundishe kusema hapana kwa dhambi. Kuna njia nyingi za kusema hapana kwa dhambi. Sio tu kujitokeza kusema hapana dhambi kishafika. Inatufikia hapa maana usiku unalala hadi asubuhi hadi hadi yani unalala two days mfululizo yani vile ulilala anza kulala thursday unaamka friday tena saa mbili afu ikifika hapa unasema nili, unajua nilikuwa nilikuwa nimefinywa sana huyo huyo mama alinifinya sana sababu haukusimama haukuamka asubuhi uka tangazia asubuhi yako siku yako vile inapaswa kukua au kuamka asubuhi uambie shetani kaa kando mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu wewe sandi friday nataka uwe hivi uwe hivi Mungu anauliza ayubu je umeamka na kuamuru siku yako inamaanisha anatupatia nguvu ya kuamuru siku 
<laughs> so wewe ujui nani aliamuru usiku sema hey, wakati mwingine unakuta maji maji yamemwagwa nje wewe unatembea tu hata kwanza asubuhi uliamka hata ukushukuru Mungu ukifika mbele unakutana unakutana na kisirani unaanza kutukanana na watu sema alinitukana ndio maana nilitukana kwa nini asikutukane maana haukuomba asubuhi haleluya And the Bible says you see the Bible says we've been given dominion. I said first that God is very faithful. He said that he has given us dominion. Since he said that, he has not taken it back. Hey. Woo! Hallelujah. Ushaiona mfalme mwenye juu yeye ni mfalme. Utatawaliwa. Tena utatawaliwa na ufanywe mfanyikazi. Eh na utaosha chona wewe ni mfalme. Na unju, kwa kuwa ujui wewe ni mfalme. Let me tell you. God has called us to dominate wherever we are. It is high time ni vile tu tunaoja kidogo, yani dhambi kidogo, Ukristo kidogo. Amua leo kwamba mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu, nataka kutawala na Mungu. Mimi naenda kutawala. Haleluya! Hapo ndipo ukifika mapepo ya kuni wanasema hapana huyu mpisha yatoke huyu hapana huyu huyu achana naye hey wao oh, shetani anajua watoto wangu hata wakipelekewa wanasema hey umeleta mtoto huyu mama hapa unatutakia shida hey yani wanaacha bila mimi kuongea i don't speak but they know je mbingu inakutambua Jehanamu inakujua hujaomba Asema we tunakujua unanijua uliniona wapi Tunasikia sauti yako Walk in walking in dominion Ukristo tumelala tumeka tumeacha eti nimerogwa so Eti unajua sisi kwetu wana watu sana huwa hawaolewi na wewe ni Mkristo na unatuabudisha hapa Huh? You are worshiping. Yeah. Ah. 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 Bonaisa si fiwe. Ah? Let me tell you. Ladies, I'm a lady. Hakuna vitu nimepitia. I can tell you. Hakikisha umemalizana na Mungu. Yaani wakisha toka tu poop, jifunge hapa. Ambia Mungu, sitaimba tena mpaka unipe mume wangu. Hao wanawake wataanza kunihisi hisi kunishukushuku na waume zao. Mungu mimi sitaki. Mungu si hawa watu ni watu wako. Unaujua vile akili yao huwa inakuwa vile nimeva vizuri. Watadhani tu waume zao watanikatia. Mungu nipatie mume wangu. Our God is so faithful. When you go to him with a genuine heart, he will answer you. I went to him and told him, "Jehovah, I know I'm still young. I need my own man." And there and then, nilimaliza miezi tu fulani nikiwa ninajitengeneza na Mungu akiwa anatengeneza bibi harusi. Na ujue anakuje bibi harusi ambaye halina mawa wala makunyanzi. I wish kungekuwa na namna ningewaficha ndugu zangu ningewaficha huko lakini sina hakuna namna nyingine ni wokovu uliokamilika basi Kungekuwa na shortcut the more, let me tell you the more you worship here no matter how God is faithful when he is called he will come because that is his word but you will remain in that state forever you will keep on wachungaji wanabadilishwa wanakupata mpaka utakuwa mama kanisa hapa na hujaolewa that is not my wish that is not what i want for you amua acha kuonja onja na unakuja amua sitaki sitaki mungu nisaidie uone kama unamaliza mwaka huu kabla mume ajaenda kwenu Hata sisi tulidanganywa kwamba hii ndio maisha acha nikwambie God is my witness because tuliongea na ye kabla sijaanza kuhubiri sio leo 
nikamwambia nitawaambia ukiwa hapa na unakuwa na mwanamume ujaolewa una miaka mingi ya kuomba na kuimba na haitakupeleka mahali popote I wish ulimwengu wote unisikie neema iko lakini ya kukusaidia kusema hapana to ungodliness sio ya kukubeba na we ni mwenye dhambi Mm-mm. nitakuwa na kudanganya yani saying no to ungodliness and to worldly passions and live a self controlled upright and godly lives in this present age mtu anasema kwamba ho vijana wafai kuokoka soma tito nadhani oh thank you so much Ume, uh, imewekwa hapo juu sisomi mambo yangu ni maandiko neema tuliyopewa ni ya kukata dhambi sio ya kubebwa beba tu kwa e, mimi pia nilijikuta tu ulijikuta kwani ulikuwa huna macho Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ulijikuta aje? Sana sana kama dhambi ya usherati jamani. Si unapanga mpaka unachuku, mpaka una, unapokea simu. Hadi unapewa tarehe. Na unakuwa mwaminifu kwa tarehe. Yaani hizi siku zote Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa wapi? Eh? Haleluya. Eh naona na, inakuwa ngumu kidogo. Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa wapi sasa hiyo? Hakuepo leo leo mubiri pasta irini umekuja vibaya vibaya wao watu he wao, lakini ni vizuri mchungaji naona anapiga kichwa hivi anasema ndio mchungaji unanisaidia kazi najua hii akihubiri wengine wataacha praise and worship sasa mimi hata dukesho atamalizana na nyinyi leo mimi acheni nimalizana na nyinyi niende haleluya but i'm telling you the truth Changanya mambo mawili una miaka mingingi si kwamba nasema itakufanyikia ni kwamba I'm giving you a warning acha for you to be safe acha na huu mwaka nimesema nimetabiri acha na huu mwaka kama hautapata mume mzuri wa kwenda kwenu sio wa kukuoa hapa mjini na mnabaki hapa mjini ah huyu mwanamume yuko na kwao mwambie nipeleke kwenu When is this view? So the grace is there to help us say no to ungodliness and live a self-controlled life. Sio kwamba hiyo hiyo maisha tu ya kujiachilia sana. So 